What's up everybody, this is your boy Dev1, and this tutorial is brought to you by TheAudioBank.com. Check out your latest news, reviews, stories. Also, if you subscribe, great tutorials, sounds, and plugins specifically for your music making. Now, moving forward. Today we're going to be learning how to customize icons for Logic Pro. So there's a lot of people, including myself, that like to tweak it out, um, make it much more personal, and for example, add in my gear or pictures. So with that being said, you need to own Photoshop and you need to own Logic Pro. So you'd open up Photoshop and all you have to do is just drag in your picture. Now I got this PNG file online. Uh, don't know exactly where from, but you could search it on Google and find it. In this case, there is already no background. It's transparent. So I hit the arrow first to place it. And all I have to do is save it as a TIFF file. And once you do, and I already did that. Once you do, it'll be here on your desktop. And we'll do the same. We're going to put the uh, blinders on that one. Drag in our wave picture and stretch it out to fit the box that's already there because we want to stay in the confines of that region. Now there's two things you could do. First you got to place the file. The two things you could do are fade the white background out and you'll be left with a residual shadow or you can use the magic wand tool and click in the area and delete all that out. But I don't recommend that, especially in this case, because we lose out on, on a lot of good information here. So it would cut out a lot of the image. We don't want to do that. I want to enhance the image. So if you double click on the image on the right side, you could start pulling out all the white. And you start to see the shadow. The thing is that shadow doesn't look that good when you put it into logic when it's white. So you could experiment with different colors. I liked how the red looked. So I get it to a point where it looks pretty cool and that's cool. And I say, okay, and I'm going to file, save that as a TIFF file and right onto the desktop, which I already did. Then you can go ahead, open up your logic and just right click on where the icon is and you can hit the plus sign and just pick it right from your desktop, which I already did and I have them right there. So you can kind of go through and experiment with the different looks. And that's it. Super simple, super easy. I like it in red a little bit better. I think it looks pretty dope. If you have any questions or comments, please leave one below. If you like this video and you thought it was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to check out more videos that we'll be putting out in the near future and tons of tutorials and great content, then hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate you. Uh, also turn on your notifications so that every time we go live or every time that we upload a new video, you could be the first to check it out. I am Dev1. This is theaudiobank.com.